terminology here. Direct pressure would mean you're touching your horse, that you're tr either um, using the lead rope or the bridle, or you're touching them directly. It would be direct pressure. And then I'll have a term that's just indirect pressure, which is more your movements. And that was the bubble, expanding the bubble. <coughs> so what I'd like to do is start with a little sort of indirect pressure, just movement there. And I want to convey an idea of sort of looking over to the side like that. Now, Nancy was talking about how you can use energy with your students, you know, and, and you don't need to, I mean, it's, it's clear, it makes sense, right? Well, so that's what I'm going to do here is I think about a focal point, something for the horse to look at, or something interesting, like maybe you. I think, about well, Nancy's interesting, so there, there. So I'd like, to, let her settle here, I'd like to come in and sort of, there, convey an idea of looking over there, and if <coughs> I need to touch her, I will. But I won't just, I mean, I won't just lightly touch her. What I'll do is get in there and maybe a little bump like that. You won't hurt them. You won't make them head shy at all. There. So I'm going to think, look over there. Kind of get in a little further. There. And then I, I back off. Good. And when I back off, it draws her to me. Oh, slightly rounded look to her body there. Good. Oh, she's already looking off that way. So I'm going to think, look over here a little further. Just wait till you do this with twink. Yeah. Now her ears could go, ooh, that was nice. And one more time this way, I'm thinking about you. Look at that. Isn't that fun? So you, yeah, try that. But if she doesn't go, bump, 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 yeah. And you will not, yeah, exactly. Gentle encouragement. This is sort of like following a feel. Um, that looks pretty nice, Cheryl. Yeah. Now you could, again, <laughs> He's got it this much, and he could do a little more, but you'll just, that's fine, take it. And then after a time or two, get a little firmer. And you might even bump right on that halter, you know. <clears throat> Bring Twink over here. Maybe it, it just gave her permission. For, maybe that itch was there. It, oh, is she? Make her that flexible all the time. Yeah, <laughs> is she that is she? <laughs> right. All right, now be aware of your horse. Yeah, I know. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Let's see Twinkle. Hope must be happy with her because she's like, I'm just going to bring her, not let Jack work with her anymore because she's going pretty good. There, bring her over. I'll show you again. Now, when we're not sure of what we're doing, when we're learning something new, and we question, am I have you ever asked yourself, is that right? Is that correct? I get that all the time. People say, was that right? And I'll say, did it work? So it's not, is it right? It's, did it work? Did you get the desired response? So when we do this, if you're unclear and you're like letting your bubble shrink up and deflate, it's going to be harder to get it. Just know what you want. Say, I want you to look over at May. See May over there? And sit up and in your mind think about it and get tall. Not, not yet. Okay. Great question. That's coming next. Because okay. that's, yeah. They might move their, I guess if he were to move his front feet, it'd be okay. okay. But then we'd want to get it with his feet in place. Okay. Yeah. So let's try twink. Ready? Okay. I want to get, <coughs> let's get closer to, let's come, oh boy. She goes, I'd rather stay with Hope. <laughs> you see that? Then we'll go with that guy. Think really clear, Nancy, in your mind. Open your field of vision up and look Look where you want her to look. All right, so here we go. So now you come over here, Hope, and we'll work on this idea of indirect pressure and directing her attention. So now we'll think about the, the, the corner because there's something interesting over there. So I'll think about that corner there and look and direct. And hey, Nancy, notice how when I have Twink look, look where I'm looking. Look at that. And she's not one that's very always very responsive, right? So now I'll, I'll look. My, I can still, when we're concentrating, we tend to look at the horse. But if you were driving a car on a day that's snowing, you would be very soft, right, open. So when I, I'm going to look at you, 
but at the same time, out of my peripheral, I can see, I can totally see her. Like, I can see, like, she's blinking. So I'm going to think about you. Yeah, pretty good. She could bring her ears. Yeah, yeah, a little, yeah. That's right. This way. Ready? Look. A little more, a little more, a little more. Come on. Now, there's a cat up there. I Did Husky see the cat? Okay, so get, so get, all right. <laughs> I'll work with them, too, then, too, <clears throat> as well. Sorry about my... There. It's interesting. So I'm not starting with a touch. I'm starting with just sort of pressure, but then I'm touching. Oh, let's see if she, I'm going to back off. Let's see if she sort of thinks about that. Now when I approach here, I'm going to look right towards me. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Look at that. And Twink says, good, I'll go over and bite her. But either way, yeah. But how neat, how, oh, that's nice, Cheryl. There. So I'll think about over here. It's, and it's, it's so fun when your horses are in stalls, you know, and you're not sure what to, you go in there and you, you work on petting your horse and just whatever, cleaning their stall. You, you can do these things. I mean, to me, this is like really fun. It's how much of your mind can you, can you use to, like, to do this. Now, um, Cheryl asked a great question. Should their feet go? Well, yeah, eventually when you, <coughs> right. Right, so let's get into that. Now, I'll let you just stand right there, and I'll move Twink. So this part was very much directing the mind. The most important part is directing and leading. That gives them a, a place to go. Driving and all of that sort of adversive stuff, that comes second. So first, we have to say, look over there, bring your life up, go over there. So let's give this a try. So the same idea here, I'll see if I can have her look, but then I'll see, can I direct her more and more until those, those feet go. Now I realize she's not the most, ah, uh, she went. One more time. Now you might just take the shoulder over a couple steps. You, you might just say, look over there, good, like, like this is great, just just step over a little bit. They might end up on a circle, and that'd be okay, too. <clears throat> now, I'll change my presentation slightly and use the lead rope the way that you're used to using your lead rope. So, same ideas. Look over there. Now, follow a feel over there. Okay? Look over there. T 